Do you ever feel like you have a closet filled with clothes that just don't quite represent exactly who you are? Or do you feel overwhelmed by all the fashion choices out there that just don't quite represent exactly who you are? Yeah. I understand. Don't worry, I have you covered. Today I'm gonna to help and guide you through how to build your personal style that reflects exactly who you are and make you feel your best on the inside and out when you walk out of that closet. Hey everyone, welcome back to Luxa Blue where luxury meets affordable style. I'm Melissa and if you're new, welcome to my bedroom. Today we are going to embark on a journey of style and self-expression. I am going to unlock my personal secrets that have helped me through my personal journey and fashion career to better help you understand how to build that personal style that is uniquely tailored just for you. There are so many things out there that can be a little bit frustrating or a little bit overwhelming in the fashion industry so we're gonna break it down nice and easy first up let's talk inspiration the building blocks of what your personal style begins with is what catches your eye and that is inspiration or what we see in the movies or what we see in the fashion magazines or what art we see or what somebody that we see at the mall and how it makes us feel of what they're wearing it all begins with inspiration Sundays are my days for my fashion magazines and Pinterest and my mood boards. I will sit there for hours and create mood boards of what I'm inspired by or what I'm seeing in fashion culture. I gotta show you this, this is really serious. Before Pinterest was ever created, I would get these leather bound binders and I would go through every fashion magazine out there and I would get these little plastic things and I would put them in here because I never wanted to forget and reference back to. So it was nice and beautiful and it was everything that inspired me on a Sunday. And this is what I would do. I was so happy when Pinterest came about because then I didn't have to cut out or rip out all the pages and put them in a book like this and it saves me time and money. But I just wanted to show you this because literally, oh my gosh, see these shoes right here? I wanted these Chanel shoes so bad. I bet you I could find them on the aftermarket right now. This will be cool. I'm gonna go through all these books again and see all the things that I was inspired by and how I've used them in my current style and things that I might have forgotten got that I might need to go back and see if I can go to fashion file or the consignment market and see if I can find them. What the moral of the story is, is this is fashion inspiration. This is where it begins. I mean, literally guys, look, I mean, here's another one. Here's another one. I mean, this is what I would do on a Sunday. Okay. So with that being said, you can create these boards now on Pinterest, which make it so much easier. If you want to go follow me on Pinterest, I have tons of boards there. I think I have over 10,000 pins. I never actually put these on Pinterest, but I think after I figured out Pinterest, I just kind of moved forward from there because if I added all this stuff into my Pinterest, wow, that would be a lot. This is where it begins. And again, movies oh my gosh especially some of the older movies you can get so much inspiration for fashion there i used to be a kardashian watcher this little might be a little bit controversial but i really didn't care for the kardashians that much but i would always tune in because i could not wait for the fashion and what they wore and i wanted to take notes of everything that they did because they had great stylists and they are a great stylist by the way that is what they are very good at i will tell you that i used to hone in on the fashion every week and it was a big inspiration for me another tv series which was great for me was sex in the city i'm pretty sure every fashionista has loved that show as well but i got great inspiration and i would love to watch and see what they were wearing so again building your personal style begins with inspiration it's got to come from within you got to get fired up about it you got to get your heart beating you got to get really excited about it and what somebody wears could just inspire you in a way that you're like I want that look I need to recreate that look maybe not exactly the way that it is you know it makes you feel good on the inside the way you feel and exude from the inside out is going to radiate every single one of your outfits so the moral of the story is keep a mood board books a journal a Pinterest account, a place where you can keep in all of your style inspirations in one little place to help you reference back to, and you can just flip back. Next is mastering fit and fabric. This is crucial. I talked about this in my last video on the five things that you hate about your outfit, and one of them on that list is 
fit. Trust me, this can make or break an outfit. It can make or break you. It can make or break your confidence. This is very, very important to master your fit and the types of fabric that flatter your body, okay? So again, your fit, we don't care if it says small, medium, large, or extra large, who cares? It's the way that it fits your body and the way that it flatters your body. Not all body types are made the same. I think we all can agree to that. And I think that we need to not let that be an impediment in our styling. We need to lean into that. And when I say lean into that, we need to lean into the size does not matter. It's the way that it fits into your body. And if a medium fits you just right and makes you sing and it makes you feel confident and feel better in the outfit, you get that medium because you're freaking magnificent, okay? Don't worry about the size. And then secondly, the fabrics. The fabrics, oh my gosh. Today, I cannot wait to, I'll share my outfit with you later. I'm wearing this amazing Alexander McQueen outfit. So this is like a taffeta, you know, poofy, fabulous skirt. So if this was kind of like in that jersey knit material that's kind of clingy and shows like every little ounce of your body, yeah, that'd be no bueno. That would make this skirt a whole entire different look. It wouldn't flatter my body type and I wouldn't like it as much. So again, your fabrics that you're choosing, your fits, that will elevate your outfits and your personal style every single time. Stick with things that you know. You're gonna learn this process through trial and error, and it's just basically trying on things and how they work with your body type. And don't you let that tag if it says large and it looks good and you feel good, you're large today, okay? That means you are gonna be loved throughout the rest of the day, okay? Or it's an M, you're magnificent, okay? Just try things on and let me tell you something, this is what you also need to keep in mind. All these brands fit differently, no matter if they are a high-end brand or a street style brand, it does not matter. They all fit differently, some better than others, and you need to test that out through trial and error and what is gonna fit you the most. I have Chanel outfits, I have Zara outfits. And let me tell you something, sometimes I've had a Zara outfit fit me just as good as my Chanel outfits. We can look like a million dollars for a fraction of the cost. It's all about the fabric, the fit, and how it fits your body type. Mastering the fit and fabric is gonna change your life and be a game changer in your styling and walking out of your closet looking your best. The next thing that we need to master is experimentation. Now, not every experiment is gonna go flawless or the way that you hoped it to go, but at the same time, the thing that you need to do is just experiment. You just need to be bold, get out of your comfort zone, try it one time. Don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone. There is plenty of things on my Instagram or my pictures that I'm like, whoa, what was I thinking? But it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, it led me to where I am today, my personal style and building what I like and what I don't like and what I know is right and what's not right. So that is how you evolve and building your personal style and who you are and uniquely who you are. Some of my most daring outfits. I go look back and I was so afraid and I'm like, but I executed so well. I can give you one right off the bat. Last year, last September, I went to New York Fashion Week and I told everybody in my stories that I was wearing bloomers and they're probably like, what the hell is she talking about? Yeah, bloomers. I told you in stories today, I was going with bloomers. But I wore the bloomers with this amazing Christopher Esber's long, beautiful coat and the bloomers that matched it. And I was actually wearing this exact same bodysuit. By the way, this is a bodysuit. And I had this on with this outfit. Oh my gosh. I had the best day in that outfit. It was awesome. My husband's like, what is that? I like it though. It's okay, you go with yourself. I don't even know where I saw that. I think I saw it on maybe Leonie Haney, probably. I think I did. She was wearing a brown version of it with some red sunglasses. And I'm like, I'm gonna wear that to Fashion Week. I'm gonna find the one that works for me and I'm gonna do it. The moral of the story is get out of your comfort zone. Get out of feeling that entrapment of that I can't try those things or I can't try new things. Trying new things sometimes leads you to something that you're like, wow, why didn't I know this? Or why didn't I do this a long time ago? And sometimes they are like, well, I probably shouldn't have done that one either. Again, it could go both ways, but don't be afraid because sometimes that's how we learn our best is through failing because then you know what you don't like and what is not gonna work. So 
Either way, you can't lose with experimenting. Okay, this next one is the backbone of any great style and that is wardrobe essentials. And that means investing in great elevated basics or wardrobe essential basics. That great pair of fitting jeans that is gonna fit you like a glove every single time, a beautiful slip dress, a great little black dress, a great pair of trousers, a great blazer, a great fitted blouse that you can pop with so many different things, a great skirt, wardrobe essentials. I think I just listed eight or nine of them right there. I talked a little bit about this in my last video as well. We need to keep transitional wardrobe essential pieces in our closet that are our go-to, our ride or dies every single time, we know that those are amazing on us and they can be transitioned to a different outfit. So a pair of jeans, you can style that up 25 different ways. The slip dress, you can do the same as well as the blouse, the blazer, the good trousers. These are good basic foundations, pieces, for your great style and evolving your personal style because they will go with multiple things. When you decide to get very experimental, you can actually take those elevated wardrobe essentials and pair them with your outrageous pieces and make it work for you. And you need to get really good at this. Make sure you have all of those things that I just mentioned right there. I think maybe the next video I'm gonna do is like a good capsule wardrobe for each season. So obviously we would do a fall winter capsule wardrobe and basically that's what a capsule wardrobe is. It's about five to eight pieces, foundational wardrobe essential pieces that you can make 25, 30 outfits out of just those eight pieces. I also like to call it outfit formula as well. That go-to outfit formula is maybe a great pair of denim, a great tee, elevated tee, and a gorgeous camel coat and some boots. That is a great outfit formula, wardrobe essential foundational outfit for fall and winter. You follow me where I'm going with this. That way you can fall back on these things and they can just flow through your wardrobe and you can reinvent them as seasons come and as trends come, never underestimate the power of a good wardrobe essential. Our next secret weapon is accessories. It can elevate any outfit and you can go from drab to fab in like five seconds with just a little touch of accessories. Hat, shoes, necklace, statement jewelry, scarf, glasses, sunnies, whatever you want to call them, even reading glasses. They can elevate and turn and transform an outfit, like I said, from drab to fab in like five seconds. You can never have too many accessories. And I have in the guest bedroom, I have a whole wall of hats, okay? Because hats, oh, I love wearing hats. And scarves, I love like, old Hollywood vintage glam styling. I just love that. And it just takes the outfit to a whole nother level. And so if you can get comfortable with getting more accessories into your wardrobe, you will have so much fun, number one. Number two, it just will elevate any outfit and you don't have to have expensive accessories. Wherever I get or find something that I'm out and about and it looks like just is fabulous, I get it. Once you master this and feeling good with it, you will also take all these little accessories and make them your own in your own unique style and then you're slowly building that personal style. The next thing that's gonna help us build our personal style is always your personal mood should be a reflection directly upon how you're feeling, your lifestyle, and things that make you tick. Do you like vibrant colors? Do you like bling? Do you like lots of embellishments? Do you like the gold? Do you like silver? Do you like to keep it monotone? Do you like to keep just monochromatic neutral tones throughout your, your style? So you're always gonna wanna gravitate towards things that make you feel good and that are your personal mood. I'm Lux of Blue. I love the color blue. So I am always going to gravitate towards blue. You're always gonna see blue on me because I love blue and I love other colors as well. But that is just my color that I love. And I love lots of gold and silvers and embellishment. I love that it makes me feel good. It makes me happy. And so those things should be a direct reflection when you're getting dressed. And that creates and it builds that you unique personal style of who you are. When you walk into a room, your style should say 
who you are without having to speak, period. And this will be ever in motion because again, fashion is ever in motion. Things are always changing and evolving. We're always changing and evolving as people, as human beings. And our style should always reflect our current mood and how we're feeling so we can impersonate all those roles and have fun with it and have great style. The next thing that we need to help build our personal style, I'm gonna group these two in the same category and that is seasonal trends and sustainability. While personal style is true to who you are, seasonal trends offer a fresh inspiration or a fresh revamp into your wardrobe and your closet and your styling at the time. I know a lot of people are like, oh, let's stay away from trends, but you know what? I find that going into seasonal trends, especially if you go into a low barrier entry, from a financial monetary perspective, like a Zara or a Mango, that will allow you to try the trend at a much lower cost than buying the actual expensive version of it. I think that seasonal trends are very, very important to your personal style and evolving with your personal style because you may find something that's trendy, but then sometimes those trends stay season after season after season, and that becomes a personal style block in your wardrobe that can carry you through the next few seasons. And honestly, some of my Zara finds, I've actually never went back and bought the more expensive version of it because they were so good at Zara. I think it's a great way to get creative, try what you might see that you like from that inspiration of the trend, and you're not out a lot of money if it doesn't work out or if it goes out of style next season. Sustainability is more than just a trend. It's a movement and it's a movement for so many different reasons. Number one, a lot of this fast fashion is getting a little bit unbearable in the amount of waste that's consuming our world. That could be a whole nother video. But for this video, we want to buy, I look at sustainability as a more timeless, eclectic way of putting items into our wardrobe that are gonna stand the test of time so we don't have to keep rebuying and repurchasing. So those beautiful Ralph Lauren blazers that are quality or that quality little black dress, all those things that you don't have to ever rebuy again because that piece is gonna sustain itself into your wardrobe forever. Those two things kind of work in tandem because sometimes I have seen trends that end up going into a timeless classic style that stays for a very, very long time. I can say right now off the top of my head, over the knee boots. Those came about, I'd say 10, 15 years ago and they're here to stay. They're awesome. I bring those boots out every single fall and winter. So getting you know, out of your comfort zone with some seasonal trends and trending items and trying them out is a great way to have fun with your wardrobe and then also making sure that we're sticking to timeless eclectic purchases to create that sustainability within our wardrobe and our personal style. So those are the things that complement us going back to a few segments ago about those wardrobe essentials. This is kind of it's the same sustainable pieces that are gonna stay with us and complement us for a very long time. And our last secret weapon that is gonna help build our personal style is confidence. The best outfits are the ones that exude confidence and you feel your best and you feel unstoppable. I'm telling you, I uploaded a reel today and the message on the reel was to never ever stop being you unapologetically who you are because confidence always makes the outfit better. I think it just brings a whole nother level to it. When you wear the outfit and the outfit doesn't wear you, that is on a whole other level. Always embrace your choices and who you are and how you feel when you get dressed. Because remember, as I said in the beginning of this video, personal style exudes from the inside out and it radiates. And when that confidence radiates out of you, you are unstoppable, okay? No matter what you have on. You just radiate this whole other level that is just absolutely, in my opinion, I love and I think it's beautiful to watch people who have style confidence. It is the most awesomest thing to see somebody just out there owning their style. As the late Iris Apafel said, more is more and less 
is a bore. She taught us to embrace the power of fashion and to always live authentically and unapologetically exactly who we are. Never forget that. And speaking of being bold and living unapologetically, I forgot to go over my outfit today. I love this look. I wore this skirt to Fashion Week last year. It's an Alexander McQueen skirt. It came in like green, orange, pink, and this black. And this is a Wolford bodysuit. It is a crisp, white blouse. If you watch my channel, you know how much I love a good crisp white blouse. And then I'm wearing my beautiful Sex and the City Manalo Blahnik that I just adore. And I have a few colors of this shoe. It goes with everything. I love how versatile it is. You can wear it with jeans, dress it up, dress it down. And as always, my pearls. I love to wear pearls and some just pearl studs just to add to the outfit. And I have this wrap belt that's wrapped around the top of the skirt, just kind of creating a little bit more of a silhouette. So, you know, it's not like drowned in me here because the skirt is quite a bit. But that's the outfit of the day. Well, that concludes our video today. I hope these tips today help you embrace on your personal style journey. These are just things to think about. I think that people think that developing a personal style is like this, like, I don't know, this regimen or whatever, but really it's just really simple techniques just to start building on and getting better at and mastering certain things. You just kind of wiggle around and find what best works for you and how you can confidently develop that personal style so you can be exactly truly who you are when you walk out of your closet. Remember, fashion is a journey. It's not a destination or all in destination. It's a journey. So be brave, be bold, take risks, and we're, all, we're not gonna always get it right, but when you do get it right, make sure you take note of that and repeat that again. And most importantly, make sure that you just make it your own. What's your personal style story? Share it in the comments below, I'd love to know. And if there's anything I didn't mention on here today that's worked for you, I'd love to see it in the comments and that can help the other viewers as well. And don't forget if this was helpful for you today and you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you like to be in the know of what things to wear, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye everyone.